Paramount Television Studios shut down by Paramount Global Cost Cuts. Damn. And the thing is that, like, I've never watched, what's this, what was this called? Reacher? What's it called? Yeah. Yeah. Or was it like Jack Ryan? I forgot what it was called already. Yeah. But yeah, um, I, I get I get confused with the Reacher films. Like, isn't there isn't there are TV shows in Amazon too? Okay. Everybody? I think this one is I think this one is Jack Ryan. I think Reacher is the guy who's like the buff blonde dude that said that he hates Trump. I think this one is Jack Ryan. Uh, okay, those are two completely separate things. Right? They're not the same. They're no, not they're, in the same they're, universe. They're different. Yeah, they're different. <laughs> okay, it's yeah, so it, confusing. it is confusing. Yeah, I've never yeah. seen um Jack Ryan. A Paramount Television Studios, a production facility originally aimed at getting Paramount Pictures back into the business of making TV series, will shut down. The latest about of cost cutting by parent corporation Paramount Global as it seeks to eliminate 500 million amid a chaotic shift in the entertainment industry. Now, I wonder if it's because of showing Master Ass, I mean, sorry, Master Cheeks' his ass, right? Mm-hmm. Like, they could have kept his helmet on, remove any love interest other than Cortana, and have the movie, I mean, the TV show just based off of him beating bitches up, killing covenants, aliens, the flood, all of that stuff. It could just be that, and no one would have said anything, and it would have been awesome. And maybe once in the episode, he has to take off his mask is because maybe he's like bleeding or something like that, and the, doc- and the doctor or the medic has to get to his mask. It's like, we have to, and he finally takes that off. Sort of like what they did with Mandalorian, right? You actually see Pedro Pascal's face like once, right? You actually mm-hmm. see it twice. So, uh, yeah. And the thing is that it's, like you said, Gray, it would have been like a home run. Follow the game. Follow the lore. It's that easy. But they're like, if you guys want, if you guys want the, the game, just, just play the game. That, that's a good way to get rid of your audience, right? Because look what happened with The Last of Us. It's also a video game. Now it's also played by Pedro Pascal, which a lot of people don't like. But overall, I think that TV show was pretty good. Right? It, it felt like it felt a little rushed, but it is pretty good. They it, it, they they kept you know the source material accurate. They changed some stuff here and there, but it wasn't detrimental to the story, other than the fact that they're making they, they showed Bill having gay sex and then he ends up dying right in episode three. So um. Yeah, they, they had something. They had something really cool, but they lost it. Let's continue. This has been a challenging and transformative time for the entire industry. And sadly, our studio is not immune, said Nicole Clemens, president of the unit, which debuted in 2013 in a memo to staffers. Over the past 11 years, she said, the studio was weathered seemingly insurmountable obstacles through a combination of strength, determination, and unwavering commitment. We met these challenges with incredible resilience, creativity, and passion for what we do. And I could not be prouder than our team. We've also had the privilege to collaborate with some of our most brilliant creative talents in the industry to help tell incredible stories been around, uh, stories seen around the world, entertaining and shaping the culture. Um, other than the fact that like Matt, uh, Halo did really, really bad, do you know uh, any other reasons why they, they're actually going under? Or do you think like Halo just cost them way too fuck m- much like money? I actually don't think it's not just Halo. I don't know their their portfolio, but I don't recall any. Do you like anything Paramount related and Paramount TV show? I I don't. Nothing comes to mind for me. Or maybe I just don't know that they made it, but I don't know any. Let me TV see. Show. Let's see Paramount Mount uh, TV shows. Uh, see list of Paramount plus uh Paramount uh sh- this, okay so we have Ah uh, Rio Monsters Al okay Aka Acapulco Shore uh Action League Now Active Shooter uh Adam Devine's Hawaii Jimmy Neutron Kid Danger like all of these stuff are like either old or new right but let's talk yeah, about originals. Let's talk about originals, right? Seal Team, Criminal Minds, Evo, Mayor of Kingstown, Tulsa King. Her Tulsa King's pretty good. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I did. I, I watched season one. I really like one. That one. I'm waiting for season two. Like Special yeah, Ops yeah, Lioness. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. I yeah, think ahead. like for every, uh, I think like for every hundreds of mediocre stuff, they have like one good one. So that one good one couldn't carry all the bad ones. 
That's what yeah. I feel. Yeah, Special Ops Lioness, uh, Star Trek Discovery. Uh, what's that one? Uh, 1883, The Good Fight, 1923, Joe Pickett, Why Woman Kill, uh, Star Trek Picard, Law Men Bass Reeves, uh, Sky Med, The Stand, Mafia Spies, Rabbit Hole, Colin from Accounts, The Offer, School Spirit, Star, uh, Star Trek, um, Strange Angel, uh, let's see, the bloody lucky day, uh, yeah, bloody lucky day, yonder pyramid game, sexy beast, and bargain. Those are the originals. So, uh, they do have a couple more. They have the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles se uh, series. They have uh, Lower Dicks, uh, Lower Deck, of course, Halo, uh, Star Trek uh, Strange New World, The Stand, the Arc animated series. Uh, and that's mostly uh, about it. And they have the, the old Beavis and Butthead stuff with Mike Judge, the Knuckles TV series, uh, SpongeBob. There's like a SpongeBob TV series. It looks like it's animated, but yeah, like mo mostly that the only one that I really know that people really really liked is Tulsa King. Yeah. Yeah, like, man. Yeah, like every one good show they have like a hundred garbage. So. Yeah, it's it's no surprise that they had to lay off. What they should do is like they should like since Tulsa King is pretty pretty well like you know like uh received, I think they should like either Netflix or someone else should basically like take Tulsa King and just like bring it onto their streaming service. Yeah, right. It's like it's like, like the same thing we've been saying for Disney for all like Valiant Renegades take on Disney for the longest time, like Disney could have made a shit ton of money had they just licensed ev all their IPs to all these streaming services and not make Disney Plus. Like, you don't have the burden of maintaining a streaming service, which is massive, massively expensive, while you're making a shit ton of money from all these other ones. That that's what Disney should have done. It's probably the same for Paramount with all yeah. these IPs that they have. Yep. Paramount Television marked the second time Paramount Pictures tried to move into the TV business separate from the storied uh, shingle that was built on Desilu Production Studio founded by Lucio Ball and Desi Arnaz. Damn. You know who those are, right? Lucio Ball and Desi Arnaz? Uh, maybe I do. I just don't know that that's their names. <laughs> uh, I, I love Lucy. Yeah, like the, the black and white TV show. It's uh that, that that's huge, man. That studio, which uh, backed such TV treasures as I Love Lucy and Star Trek, eventually became the center of Paramount Studios after an acquisition by Golf Plus Western, and would be inherited by CBS after it split from the company formerly known as Viacom Inc. in tw uh, in two thousand and five. New Paramount Television Studios helped boost the movie studio, which aimed to find ways to make programs tied to his many famous films, including Jack Ryan spy movies, The Godfather, I'm sorry, or The Godfather. With more newly launched streamers hungry for content's operating theory was that the new studio could help Paramount strike alliances with a bevy of new broadband players uh, hungry for content. Didn't they try to merge and it didn't go through? I know. Yeah, I'm getting confused with the acquisitions of Paramount. I know Sony tried to acquire them, or did Sony al already acquire a division of them and stuff like that? Yeah, I, yeah I know. Though. I know there were some mergers and acquisitions that did not push through, but I forgot which entity did try to buy them and stuff like that. I don't really, I'm not really in the know when it comes to the track, the history of Paramount. Okay, so right over here. Proposed merger with Skydance Media. Uh, Paramount Global and Skydance Media announced a definitive agreement to merge, forming a new entity value at approximately $28 billion. And I guess it didn't go through. Uh, see, Paramount Global and Skydance Media announced a definitive agreement. And uh, right, I believe, it, I believe it fell through. Right? Let's see. Uh, what's next for streaming after Paramount acquisition and merger deals? Like, I I'm not sure if it did go through. Hold on. I'm, sure, I'm, I'm trying to read right now to see if it went through. But I know there was a huge acquisition, and I know that Warner Brothers was trying to go through an acquisition as well. But, uh, man, it's it, it sucks, man. Because, uh, like, like, like you said, under a pile of crap, there's some good stuff. And, it, and the thing is that Tulsa King, like, I watched this clip from Tulsa King, which is the one where he's like, 
he made fun of the pronouns in the car and was talking about yeah yeah he did. yeah i, I, I that. thought that was awesome man that the fact that yeah, like yeah. now yeah now i really want to watch tulsa king and we all know that stallone is super based yeah yeah it- and according to chat, it's coming. Season two is coming out very near Agatha. <laughs> if we want to oh, balance man. out this, if we want to balance out this shit, at least there's a good show. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Paramount made The Godfather. Yes, and Paramount was the original, where Marvel, uh, where Marvel was, uh, was living in before they got bought out by, uh, Disney. Like if you you remember, like Iron Man one, Iron Man two. I believe Iron Man 3 was the last one. And then the Avengers, Thor, like all of that. The early Marvel stuff were all Paramount. Uh, and then you have, um, what's it called again? Um, uh, you, like all of these like cool stuff, like Top Gun Maverick, it's like it's Paramount. Like all of these, like, the, like but the, now their TV shows are like sucking, right? Like we, we do know that the Paramount is huge, but now like, man, definitely, definitely sucks, man. Yeah, played a clip of uh, Stallone's pronoun rant scene in Tulsa is, 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 is a good clip. We, we might we might get flagged for it, just, just to be sure. But uh, but yeah, let's continue. Under his uh, aegis, uh, the company produced The Offer, an insider of the, tale, uh, of the tale of the making of the landmark movie for Paramount Plus, in a series based on Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan character for Amazon Prime Video. Other series it produced include The Spiderwick Chronicles for Roku and the revival of Terry G- uh, Gilliam, a movie. Gilliam? Pretty sure that's how, that's how you say it. Time Bandits. It's now a series on Apple uh, Apple's streaming service. I want to thank the PTVS uh, president, Nicole Clemens, and the talented team she's built for many signatures. Hits they produce. Under Nicole's leadership, the studio consistently punched above its weight in attracting top story tellers and stars to create best-in-class series. I want to thank everyone in PTVS employee for shepherding the slate of shows that helped usher Paramount into streaming era. Yeah, it's it, it sucks for them, but like it's like the fact that you wasted so much money on Halo. It's yeah, absolutely insane. We're, yeah, we're we're approaching consolidation stage for these streaming services. There's just too many of them. We're like I I would it wouldn't surprise me for between one to three years from now, where some of them were will completely just die off. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.